We are back at Protopasta. It feels really good to be out here. What I have in my hands is called reversible thermochromatic 3D printer filament. It's never been done before until today. There you are, welcome back. Uh, this is that filament that I talked about and this is Mike from Autodrop 3D. Hello. Hi Mike. So this <laughs> is this is your brainchild, right? Yeah, we were trying to figure out how to programmably print two different colors at the same time from a printer without any modifications to the printer. Zero modifications, none. No, no, no firmware changes, no like, you know, extra things you gotta attach, no permanent markers, the servos, no weirdness. <laughs> well, normally when people think of multicolor, you've got like the, the palette system, the, the Prusa MMU, you've got color or filament swaps mid print, you know, uh, all of yeah. those are, are ways of changing, but we're, we're talking about typical filaments like PLA, PETG, ABS, ASA, take your pick. This isn't any of those, right? Yeah, this is kind of a weird material. So we had to go and send away for it to the UK, but this material extrudes at extremely low temperatures, around 50 degrees uh, Celsius. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, PLA, I'll extrude 190 to 210, 215C, 220 maybe if I'm feeling saucy. I'm feeling saucy. This is 25% that temperature or less. This is 50 C. So we're taking a material which is used commonly in erasable pens and erasable pens work by heating up the ink with the friction of an eraser. Okay. And it makes the ink go transparent. And we're taking that same ink and we're adding it to the plastic so that when we extrude it over a certain temperature, it will print out transparent and expose the background color of the filament. And when you print normally, you can print it and have it come out the, the color without turning off the ink. So now, okay, this is ink from a pen. You talked about erasable pens, and this is ink that can go in there. I heard a story. <laughs> Mike, tell me if this is true. You bought pens off Amazon and blew the ink out of the pen reservoir to get the material. That was kind of fun to do in a DIY way, but I couldn't actually make filament with it because, you know, I'm hand rolling filament. It's, it's not a good thing. <laughs> I figured it was best left to the experts, and that's why we're here at Protopasta, because when I think about filament experts, I mean, mm -hmm. that's them. Well, I think the only thing left to do now is probably take it inside and see if we can extrude it. Yeah, we're gonna have to stick it in a freezer first, though. That's before fine. Before we go and put it through the printer. You are not sending me to the cooler. It'll change it back to dark when we put it in the freezer. That's right, okay, and this is why it's a first, because this is reversible thermochromatic. Mm-hmm, it's All got right. two temperature set points. Oh yeah, clear and not clear. Mm -hmm. Well, Mike, uh, I appreciate your time. Thanks for making this possible. And uh, as any DIY experiment goes, I guess, we, we do have to go get prepared. I'll take this inside and we'll stick it in the freezer and we'll see if we can't make magic. Thank you, Mike. Let's make some magic. I'm now inside Proto Pasta. Hey, Dustin. Hey, Joel. I don't know if you've ever been on camera before, have you? I haven't. This is exciting. You. This is exciting. Imagine a mad scientist, DIY engineer type who likes to create everything from the ground up, and that's Dustin. Well, thank you. Is that that's accurate? quite an introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. This is going to be challenging, right? It is, mainly because of that 50 degrees C <laughs> temperature that it extrudes at. That's you know, 130 degrees cooler than things that we normally work on. Well, this is a machine and there's friction yep. and parts. So friction yeah, generates actually, heat, right? Friction generates heat and it's also what conveys the pellets down the screw. <laughs> so if <laughs> you gotta have that friction just right between the screw and the barrel, otherwise nothing comes out the end. Right. So it'll be a pretty tight process window because of that. Because it's so cool, there's not much temperature difference between the ambient and the filament, so it's gonna take an extra long time to okay. get it cool. And we're probably gonna try to use water oh. instead of the air that we often use for the PLAs. Oh, and the water is able to wick away the heat much faster? Much faster than the air, yep. Or I guess sink away the heat, I guess yes. is the right way to yes. say it, right? This is gonna be goopy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my prediction. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm super excited yeah. for this experiment to take place. So next step is just loading it in the machine, yep. making sure our temperatures are set mm -hmm. and, and just go. Yeah, we'll, we'll sh make up some temperatures and see, <laughs> see what comes out. Let's do it. Okay. 
This filament is extremely difficult to extrude because typically uh, filament extrusion systems aren't, or at least these aren't built to extrude filament at 50C and below. We had some failures because of the strength of the material at a certain temperature. Uh, the strength of the waterfall right here for the drain uh, was causing problems. So Dustin, the crazy mad scientist that he is, and says, how about we attach a hypodermic needle and inject it straight into the water? Sure. And so that's what we have here. And typically when we talk about something like this, if this metal piece is in the water, the water's gonna sink the heat away from it, which means you're gonna have problems extruding. But because this is such a low, low temperature extruding filament, we may not have an issue. And Dustin, it's just working, man. Cool. We'll see what happens. A few moments later. Yeah. It's just like not It's happy. not happy. Uh, we, we tried with a, a larger diameter needle to inject the filament into the water line, but it's still just not strong enough to maintain a pull. It, it's it's like uh, like Pooch was saying it's a it's a Goldilocks zone of of not pulling too fast but not pulling too slow. The porridge is too hot or too cold, I guess. So at this point, we do have some spools, and that's what we have. So we're going to attempt to make it work. We've got a setup here to test an extrusion. Don't mind Dustin, he's just, uh, he's never say die, never quit. This is Alex, you've seen him before. Hey Alex. Hey. Alex is going to try to extrude it now through the Prusa machine. We've got a spool of filament, some of the stuff that we were able to get. And right now, what's the temperature at? It's at 50C. 50C and you've disengaged the extruder, so we're just gonna push through, is that right? Right, we're gonna push it by hand. And at 50C, pushing by hand should result in the pigment still being there, or the dark, it's Yeah, it should it's look black still or, gray. Yeah, gray. Later. So it looks like with experiments, Alex was able to extrude at 45C and 50C with the, the darker material. So the Correct. ink wasn't disappeared. Yeah, and then still looks gray. And then at 60C, it looked clear. <laughs> and it was easier to extrude, right? Yes. Okay. So then we, I think we have proof. So now we just need to pick a model and we'll start hotter temperature at the bottom just because it extrudes easier. And sure. then we'll back down the temperature and we should see it change. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. You could totally tell. Oh, that, like oh, that, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With that red carpet rollout, we have the very first official two color print from this, this mad scientist filament experiment. Mike, how do you think it went? I'm happy because we had the contrast there, you know, and it, it actually worked. What more can we ask for? The, the, the idea is proven out, so. That's a good way to, to put it right there. We have, the, we have the darker color here. We've got the clear base coat. I think it turned out great. I mean, we had to take into account getting a long enough layer time so that we could have enough cooling because we're working with this low temperature material. But um, in the end, I mean, I call that a win. I call that a super win. It's kind of the wild, wild west of extrusion all over again. <laughs> Nobody's Indeed. ever done it before, so, you know. Until now! Yeah. Hey, Mike, if people want to know more about this awesome filament or the cool stuff you do, where should people go? Uh, Autodrop3D.com. Autodrop3D.com. Yeah, we're going to have a whole page on this for the patent pending color changing stuff. That's awesome. And Alex, for you, where can people find out more about Protopasta? Well, you just said it, Protopasta.com. Is there a hyphen? There isn't anymore. Sweet. Ooh. Just call, got easier. One less. <laughs> I call that a success. <laughs> if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Extrude everything you can. And as always, high five. High five.